Hello guys, as you've probably noticed, I haven't uploaded a Lavender Lane video in a while. And I will show you why. This is my current problem. I'm trying to make a community college, but I'm struggling so much to finish it. It's so hard. Like, ugh, like I just, I can't, I can't do it. I try to sit here and make something, but I just can't. It's weird. It's a building block that I usually get once a year. So today, I'm going to clean my palette a little bit and build another town. Start another town. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to continue on making Lavender Lane. I'm just taking a break from it because I'm stuck. Um, but yeah, let's start the new town. <laughs> gosh i think i ran out of plots guys that's crazy so here is our new town it is non-existent because i've yet to build it okay so i'm going for a different style this time and i'll show you what i have in mind as a lot of you probably know i'm filipino but i live in australia and i haven't gone to the philippines since i was 18 and i'm 22 now so that's like four years but I thought instead of flying to go there, why don't I just bring it here in Bloxburg where I usually hang out. Actually, that's a lie because I'm barely on Bloxburg anymore. <laughs> and it's also to get rid of my boredom because not gonna lie, Bloxburg has started feeling a little bit boring for me, which is bad. It's bad, okay? But anyways, this is like the aesthetic we're going for. This is the Philippines, honestly. It's, you know, crowded but anyways let's use these as references and let's go back to Bloxburg <sighs> so here we are um I don't know how to plan this and the format of this video is a little bit different because as you can probably tell I'm talking to you instead of me voiceovering it so for this town I am going to be having smaller roads so that way we can fit more okay there we go this is our little town the roads in the Philippines are very patchy like they just kind of they're very uneven, let's just say that. So let's go grab a carpet. Uh, probably one of these would be nice. There we go. Before we continue this video, our sponsor for today is Peppy Play. They recently released a summer update for Peppy Wonder World. The Bunny Island is the perfect travel destination. In this update, we unlock so many new characters, like this bunny lady right here. And look at that, I found her babies! It's summertime, so it's perfect to take a dip in the lake. How fun! This update has also provided us with a variety of new outfits to dress up our new characters. There are tons of mini games to try out, like this coloring game. If you run out of colors, you can just grab any colored food and make more. The interactivity of this game leads to endless roleplay outcomes. There's so much to explore and discover. Have your summer fun now by downloading Peppy Wonder World and check out their amazing summer update using the link in the description below or pinned comment. You can also use this QR code right here. Now let's get back into the video. I've heard a lot of Filipinos on TikTok, especially those who were born and raised in the Philippines and are still in the Philippines. They kind of have this like war with Filipinos who weren't raised there. Um, who grew up overseas and basically they think that Filipinos like me are kind of, you know, out of touch, you know, because uh, the fact that I find clumped up wiring nostalgic, you know, and the clutter and the posters that are honestly bad for the environment because whenever there's like an election or whatever, there's like a lot of posters. It's crazy, which I understand. You know, we really shouldn't romanticize something like that, something that's um, that's ruining the environment, of course. But um, to me, when I think of stuff like that, it just reminds me of home. And that's why this little city or town that I'm making right here will be kind of my love letter to the Philippines. Though cluttered, though a little bit messy, it's still home. I know that you guys haven't like heard from me in a while. Um, is it because I've been busy playing other games? You're right. I, that's exactly it, actually. Even though I haven't been here um, for a while or haven't been really present for a while, I feel like I really needed that break 
because it's allowed me to reflect on what I want to do. I don't know if you can tell, but I seem a little bit different or the way that I'm talking to you because I'm a lot more, I guess, casual or myself, you know? I mean, I get that you guys are probably used to the kind of lemon hearts that talks really fast and I don't know what she says is scripted. I just thought I'd make something that's a little bit more laid back, actually say my thoughts on stuff. Content creating is tiring. No matter how much people think um, it's easy, because it is easy, it's an easy job compared to other jobs, of course. But that doesn't mean that it's not as draining. Because imagine, you know, putting yourself out there for people to watch and listen to. But on top of that, you're not really being yourself. You're being someone you think people would want to watch. You know, like upbeat, loud, <laughs> and all that stuff. And I am upbeat and loud, but sometimes... I'm just not, and I think that's okay. So I think these roads are a little bit too dark, so I'm just gonna change them. <sighs> okay, so this is our little town, and um, just briefly, I want to just make the buildings, like just the outline of the buildings. So this is kind of roughly what our town is going to look like. And at the front over here, maybe we should start, you know, a house or something. I want everything to be kind of facing inwards. So that way, um, it's like a city that you're kind of immersed in, you know? Like, I don't like seeing the outside of the city. And then you just see, like, basically all this, like, empty land. <laughs> so with this area over here, I reckon I can have... Um, like a bunch of houses and the fences that people usually use are these things called hollowed blocks which honestly we actually have something here that's kind of similar to that oh my gosh it's right there these ones cinder blocks yes but, <laughs> but i don't really think that i should be making fences out of these that's gonna be so that's gonna eat up our plot data guys <laughs> it's kind of cute i kind of like it so these are our four houses that we're going to have here. And let me try to put on this large stone wall. Sometimes people don't even have cars, but they would have these really, really big gates. So that's what we're going to add right here. Over there. And like, they usually look like this as well. Okay, but that doesn't work. Maybe this one? Yeah, it would always be these really, really big gates. Just letting you know right now that this isn't supposed to be like true to size as well because we're trying to make it like a little bit more compact. My building style before I wanted it to be kind of comfortable to where people can kind of like live there. Not that I don't want to do that anymore but it definitely like limited me a lot. And one thing that I feel like um, kind of gave me building block is the fact that when I build something I always think about if you guys are gonna like it. I always think about if you guys are gonna watch it. Um, and I don't really ever build for myself. I only really build for you guys. Build for what you want me to build, if that makes sense. And another thing about the Philippines is that it always, always, always rains. Like, sometimes it rains every day. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it can be like totally random. But it only happens for like 15 minutes as well. But everyone's prepared because they always use an umbrella. I don't know if you guys watch anime. But there's this anime. It's Filipino, but I guess you can call it an anime. It's on Netflix. It's called Trese. Um, and basically it's about like Filipino folklore and stuff like that. Mythology, whatever. Um, and one thing that I really hated about it was the fact that it was so gloomy because I mean sure I guess you could argue that that's the style that they were going for but when I was watching it I was like this doesn't feel like the Philippines it just doesn't represent it well in my opinion anyways okay that's my opinion it was so gloomy and dark and 
if Philippines was a color, it would be like orange, bro. It would be like bright and loud. And I remember as a child, um, we always had tin roofs. It was just something everyone had because I feel like the other roofs, the roof tiles were just a lot more expensive. So everyone just had these roofs. And you would always know when it's raining because it's so loud. It's literally rain, but on tin. So you can really hear it. And so I remember my family always had leaking ceilings, bro. We would have tubs all over the house because water is like seeping through the cracks on the ceiling. Oh my gosh, you know what I forgot? I forgot fences, guys. So fences or balconies are like really, really important in the Philippines, <laughs> in my head anyways, because I always thought that they were needed for a very special thing to do when someone likes you. I always thought you needed a balcony so someone could serenade you. Serenading, when I was growing up anyways, it was like this well, it still is this thing where if a guy is courting you or wants you to be like his girlfriend or whatever, um, that he kind of plays the music or like sings you a song in front of your house, like over here with like his friends or something. <laughs> and you're there and you're like kind of looking down at him. I don't know. I just watched it in a lot of movies. And growing up, I was like, this is a very like... How can a guy do this to me when we didn't have a balcony? Like how? I didn't understand how I could have... <laughs> I don't know. All the weird stuff went through my head when I was a kid. That's me and my relationship with balconies. It's a bit unique. So in this house over here, I'm going to be making this um, store looking thing. It's like a little stall. It's what's called a sari sari store. You can buy shampoo. You can buy... I don't know, bro, like seasoning, you can buy... It's like a little grocery store, but it's tiny. Like, it's just a little store, basically. We are going to be needing a window. Preferably this one, but um, windowless, obviously. And around this area, we will be needing some seats. I reckon that's pretty good. We can sit... Oh, okay. You have to change that. Okay, that one's perfect already. And we're also going to put a sign so everyone knows in the neighborhood that we do have a store over here. And we'll put some poster all over the place. This is what we usually have um, about, I don't know, noodles or something or shampoo and stuff. Just advertising everything. So you're probably wondering what I'm doing here. And I'm putting some clothes linings. Is that what it's called? No. Clothes liners? <laughs> like... Clotheslines! Yes, that's it. Okay, and there we go for the clotheslines. This is starting to look more like it. The Filipinos love plants, like succulents and all those stuff. So I'm gonna put um, a bunch of plants. Doesn't necessarily have to be succulents though. Just so we could have a reason to have like some sort of tree <laughs> around this place. I guess we can do one of these. These are still cute. There we go. <gasps> Since when was this a thing? From the summer update or something? Oh my gosh, that's adorable! <gasps> Stop it! Oh, that's adorable. There's a bunch of people outside always playing cards or, you know, gambling and all that stuff. Um, it wouldn't be like this big of a table, but I don't know if I can find something else that's smaller. So it would be somewhere here and then it would have like a bunch of plastic chairs around it and the chairs would always be some sort of absurd color like this color <laughs> they would generally also have umbrellas everywhere like i said before so i think we can use this umbrella for that um which is perfect because the philippines is actually very colorful and there would always be people drinking outside Oh my gosh, I totally forgot we had these pair of flip-flops is crazy. We'll put them here. <laughs> that's perfect. Oh my goodness. And let's not forget the plumbing because that's always important. And there would always be some bicycles over here as well. Because people like to ride bikes there. It's a really fast and convenient way to get around. 
I want to add some street lamps, like the street light over here. And another one over here. I think that's pretty even. And we need to make these uh, lamp posts. There we go. <sighs> okay, that's pretty good. But I feel like the most important part is this garland that I'll be putting down. Um, basically, it's going to represent like a lot of wires. Like clumps of wires. But I don't know if it's going to work out because why does it look like that? No! <laughs> and let's just make a lot of these. Like a lot. A lot. That is actually pretty accurate, Tim. But I do know that we're gonna need a lot of posters on these posts. If you're really lucky in the Philippines, you would have an air conditioner. Because it's really, 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 really hot there. I'm gonna add some air conditioners to some of the houses that we have here. So that way they can feel a little bit refreshed. And I'm just gonna add some vines. Uh, to make the place look kind of overgrown and a little bit messy. I'm also adding a rose bush, but let's pretend that this is something else. Because usually this is more of like a concrete jungle. Um, I also want to show that there's some hints of the wild trying to get out as well. Like for example, some shrubs, some um, plants that have grown despite um, of the concrete above them. So it's kind of like wanting to take over once again nature's wanting to fight back as for posters we're just gonna add a lot of random posters from the roblox search engine so i'm just gonna copy some of the posters i've added I feel like that will make our life a lot easier and plus the posters in the philippines are really repetitive anyways Okay, there we go and maybe i'll add a car as well somewhere <gasps> Stop it! Oh my goodness. Oh, frick! I was about to say that we had a tricycle, but no! It's a small one! Do we get a big one? I'm pretty sure we do. This isn't it. This isn't it, guys. Which one is it? I swear we have a bigger one! <gasps> Stop it! Ah, I'm gonna buy one! Bro, is this meant to be or what? Oh, that's crazy. We have a tricycle. <gasps> Stop it. <laughs> I didn't even... I promise I didn't even plan this. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So we have these... Um, well, what are these? These little like transport um, mabobs called tricycles. They're, they're basically like taxis, but like they can carry less people. And oh my goodness, we have a tricycle. <gasps> Stop. That's amazing! What the heck? I did not even plan that. I didn't even think of that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think I'm done building for this video. Um, we still have the rest of our town planned. But this is what we ended up getting to this episode. Um, of course, I know I'm starting a little series but not finishing any of them. But I promise you I will get to them. I just needed this to basically clean my palette because I was not feeling lavender lame. I need to finish it, I know, I'll get there, but I just really needed this. I needed a break from it, but this is what we came up with. We made four buildings and yeah, it's just a, it's just a generic Filipino street with a tindahan, um, a little store, right? And I didn't even get to put like the decals here yet. I guess we'll do that in the next episode. Um, and some houses over here, clotheslines, a tricycle, um, the place where people like get drunk and stuff outside, a bunch of posters, and of course the greenery and the concrete jungle. Um, what more could we want, am I right? Okay, well, thank you for listening to me today and for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think down below. I'll see you later.